This video is intended for information purposes only. It does not constitute medical advice. Please contact your medical professional prior to using this product. Refer to the product instructions for use for complete information. The Shoulder Cradle from Don Joy was designed by doctors and engineers with the focus on the patient. By looking at what was missing from current braces, they have created a shoulder immobilizer that maintains the shoulder in the optimal healing position day and night. The shoulder cradle is simple to apply. First, gently place the arm into the cradle and close the two primary straps. One for the upper arm and one for the lower arm. The wrist strap may also be applied for added security. It is completely removable and may be placed as needed. The hip bolster may then be placed with the curved surface against the body. The Velcro square on the back side should be positioned so that it attaches to the lower arm strap on the side of the brace. The waistband is then brought around and buckled on the underside of the cradle. The cradle is now ready for use. If desired, the hip bolster may be attached to the cradle prior to putting the cradle on by simply threading the waistband through the fabric loop on the end of the hip bolster, then attaching the back of the bolster to the lower arm strap of the cradle. The cradle should then be adjusted to suit your individual needs. There are two waistband adjustment points, one in the front and another in the back. The side pad should rest comfortably on the opposite hip, and the waistband should fit snugly for good support but not as snug as to cause discomfort. Now that the cradle is adjusted to fit you, simply use only the buckle to get in and out. The wrist bolster can be used to provide additional support for the hand and wrist. It is placed into the cradle alongside the hand and the wrist strap closed over it. Alternatively, it may be placed directly under the wrist if more support for the hand is needed, again secured by the wrist strap. The shoulder cradle is designed to work without a neck strap, but if additional support is desired for the arm, the optional neck strap can be used. Simply attach one end of the back of the cradle, bring it over the shoulder, and attach the other end on the underside of the cradle. The strap is elastic and the tightness can be adjusted by moving the attachment points. The shoulder cradle is designed to easily accommodate cold therapy systems if your physician has prescribed it. Simply place the cold therapy pad prior to closing the upper arm strap. The shoulder cradle is designed to maintain the shoulder in a position of neutral rotation, which is not only the optimal position for proper healing, but also beneficial for carrying out the activities of daily living, such as getting a glass of water, using a computer, and using mobile devices. The shoulder cradle is specifically designed to provide proper support and alignment while sleeping. For back sleeping, use the smaller wedge-shaped bolster. Attach it to the back of the cradle via the Velcro strap with the fat end of the bolster facing down towards the elbow. Then while laying down, proper support is provided in a properly aligned position. For side sleeping, the larger bolster is used. This bolster has a large curved surface which goes against the body. Rest the cradle on top of the bolster and secure it using the Velcro strip on the back of the bolster with the wrist strap attaching to the front. This will help maintain proper alignment while sleeping on the side. If you encounter any problems while using the shoulder cradle or any unusual pain, please contact your physician immediately. Greater abduction may be achieved by using the additional sleeping bolsters. This should be done only on the direction of your physician. Further details may be found in the application instructions included with your shoulder cradle.